Well, all you viewers, I want to show you where the scene of the crime took place. Here up at Three Rings Camp. Uh, last night we all arrived. And assuming that all of us have college degrees, some even a doctorate, we thought that starting a fire would be an easy task. Needless to say, several hours later, we were left with some ashes, a few smoldering logs, but nothing that you could roast a mallow on or cook a weenie. So tonight, we are here to redeem ourselves by starting a real fire. Stay tuned to see if we can accomplish the task. You cool cats and kittens, it's Ashley Robinson here up at Three Rings Camp for my first time, and today we're gonna do a starting a fire. Let's go through and meet our crew. First up, Molly Stock here. I'm the CMO here at this fine institution, Chief Medical Officer. I'm here to slap some band aids on things and keep limbs attached if necessary. Side note, we're currently in Tioga County, Pennsylvania. We were declared green by the governor, which is why none of us are wearing masks. So please, no comments about COVID. Next we have... Hi everyone, I'm Shannon Becker. I'm the COO, Chief Operating Officer. I'm here to oversee the operations because in this current state of pregnancy, I can't really do much else. And last... Director of production, sorry about that. First time on camera, a little nervous. My name's Ashley Robinson. I'm here to make sure everything's happening. I'm the cool cat behind the camera. In a little bit, we're about to show you what we're gonna do in that thing. Cause last night, it was a little B. You know what I mean? So, uh, so far we have a lot of smoke going. That's always a good sign. Now the smoke's following Usually me. a good sign. It's usually a good sign when you got smoke. <laughs> but flames are better. <laughs> Yesterday we had smoke, but guess what? It was all a facade. All right, well, it's, it's flaming. The fire starters seem to be doing okay. I'm just worried about the amount of logs we have in there, which are not very many. If you knock that TP over, I swear, <laughs> I swear to you. <laughs> so let me know, uh, CMO, when we're supposed to be adding more to this flambe. I mean, it's definitely burning, but will it keep burning once the fire starters are gone? That's what the petroleum's for. <laughs> So, uh, just a quick update. Uh, we currently have some twigs and sticks that we're hoping will catch fire. And uh, Miss Molly over here has told us that once those have established a nice strong burn, we can add some logs into the fire. Um, we'll keep you updated in a moment. The next video, we'll just, we will tell you if uh, we were able to add the logs or if this is a wash and we gotta start over. Okay, so as you can see, we have added some smaller logs that we failed to burn yesterday hoping that these bad boys catch on fire. We've also added a little more kindling. We still have a, quite a supply over there, ready to go. Just in case this doesn't work out, I'm just gonna show you. We're just gonna toss some in there to watch it flame up. For some reason, uh, Pudgy's bags are highly flammable. Just in case you ever go there. They make great kindling, so. We'll let you know in the next video if this was a win. And side note, we still didn't use this fire starter. They were homemade. Well, kids, I got good news. We're cooking some weenies. That's right, because you know why? We started a fire without a fire starter from the store. We are champions. We have not been defeated. Thank you, Three Rings Camp, for letting us know that we have what it takes to cook the weenie and roast the mallow.